Line it up. There we go. Ready to drill. Yeah, that's it. Let's put it together. Wow! <laughs> hey. Look at that! There you go. I don't know if you remember it, but um, about a year ago, or would it be a year? Yeah, about a year ago, we got our um, refurl furlers. Went and picked them up from from a manufacturer just down the road from us, where we live. And we've been waiting and waiting for sails to be able to put on to the furlers. I made, I modified the staysail and, and that's been working really well on the furler. And if you remember, Wendy and I put that furler up um, while we were at uh, anchor on about a 40 knot day, it was blowing like anything. But we managed to put it together in pieces um, from the foredeck. This time I'm going to put together the headsail one, the, the, um, the big one, which is easier done on flat land. You can either do it pulling up at a, at a jetty and do it from a jetty, or luckily we're here on the hard now waiting for this um, anti-foul to set for the second coat. So I'm gonna to put together the, the uh, furler here on the ground and then hoist it up. So we'll see how we go. You get a little instruction booklet with it, which has got every bit of information you need um, for the furler and all the bits and pieces are here. Um, very, very easy to put together. The only tool you need Pretty well a pop river gun um, and a couple of spanners to undo the uh, swage lock um, at the end of the um, at the end of the forestay. So I've laid it all out here. This is the top section that's got the pulley on it where the halyard goes and everything's got little instructions. Um, so little reminders they can't go wrong. Now that joins Joins to that, joins to that, joins to that, joins to that. And they all join together way down there, and our forestay slides down the middle of that, and then the drum is at that end, which will be the base. So that's our job now. Put this together. So what I've got to do is join that one into that one and they even supply a bit of um, grease to make it easier to stick them together. Um, and then once it's together, pull these holes out. Oh, I've got, we also need a drill. Uh, drill bits are supplied, just need to drill. So each one has six holes, drill them out, pop, pop rivets in, and uh, good to go. After you, uh, after you've drilled the hole, wait, pop rivet straight in. Nice and simple. There we go, first piece done. Let's join the next piece. So all we do, a bit of lube. Now these have been on the deck for a while and they're a bit weathered so um, it might be a little bit a little bit harder than normal to get them in. Let's see. Line it up. There we go. Ready to drill. Put the lid on my lube to keep the good grit out because nothing worse than grit in your lube. As you can see, I got my Japanese safety boots on. So, all safe. Because you're drilling into an area that's got a radius section, the drill does bind up pretty quick. So it's gotta be gentle, gentle. There we go. 
was doing this once, drilling like this, and the drill put a lot of weight on it, the drill snapped and went straight in my foot. Now these are all aluminium pop rivets, the, um, the whole body and the shaft are aluminium. Oh, next one. Galvanic erosion, is that right? Well, they won't rust. Okay. So what sort of lube is that? Oh, just your general purpose. Did you put it in that container or does it come in that? No, container? no it comes so supplied. Alright. Everything's supplied, ready to rock oh, and roll. it came with the actual kit? Yeah. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, Rogan Taylor is a fella's name who makes these um, from Reef Fell. Local, air, local early fella, lives up our way. We well, saw when I went out and picked them up about a year ago. Oh, I broke the drill bit in the last one. The stew viewers will notice that the drill bit's different colour. <laughs> That's how you do it. So what are you doing now? Um, I'm putting up uh, a line. This is the halyard that's going to stay on the on the foresail, foresail headsail. Um, but we're utilising this to hoist the foil up. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is tie a sacrificial line on as well. So once it's hoisted up, we can use this line to pull the halyard back down. Otherwise, you've got to climb the mast to get it back. Yeah. So this just saves you climbing the mast. Okay. Did you walk that in down that way? Should I put it down? Yeah. There we go. What we're going to do now, because we've got stay locks fittings on the bottom of our shrouds and stays, you can just undo them and um, and the um, stay will fit straight down the middle of the of the foil. If you don't have uh, reusable uh, swage locks or stay locks, then you've got to cut it and put a new swage on. But anyhow, we do, so we're lucky. So I'm just going to go up and do that. I've got two extra lines going down to the uh, push bit just to um, take the weight once I undo the, 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 uh, the stay. And then Wendy will be down here helping things while I'm up there doing other things. Get some WD-40. <laughs> That's a bit scary. There she goes. I never like taking the force stay off. No. So now that I've got the force stay off, I'm just going to undo this and take that off. So now that that's undone, we can just slide that back. Inside there, you'll see a little special thing -o. We'll call it. And that's what holds the um, wires apart and makes it all work. So we'll take that out, slide this off, and then we can slide the uh, foil up over that. And there's the three components. Voila, we have, where am I, voila, just got a straight bit of wire. Final piece of the puzzle. Put the lid on my lube to keep the, the grit out, because there's nothing worse than grit in your lube. So your job is to, is to hold that so that it doesn't get scratched. Just put the stay lock back together. Give the old lock tight in there. Yeah, that's it, that's put together.
what I want to do is just lay it on the boom and then we can feed it in and just hoist it up a little bit. So what are you doing? You're putting the main up? Yep. Okay. Crispy. Very crispy. Trying to get this first little bit in, which is yeah. these are always the hardest. <laughs> the new main is on. I haven't put the battens in yet, or I sort of set it all up, but it's on. So there's the old one on the ground. It's sad really, isn't it? Yeah. It these is. sails have taken us. These sails have taken us all the way across the Pacific and halfway up the east coast of Australia. And uh, yeah. But you move on. It's better. So part of my routine maintenance inspection is the stern gland, uh, which is where the boat meets the shark, right? So it's a pretty important area. I always check out these and make sure that they're not wearing or corroded or anything. Um, so notice a little bit of corrosion on this one. And of course they sit like that, so you can't see the bottom, but the bottom is just about corroded through on both of them. So that's a little tip. Check the bottom of these as well. I know it's hard to get to, but um, that's where they corrode. And that could have let go, and it would have been horrible. So, two new ones. For the first time in our lives, we've ordered Willie's Home Delivery. How convenient is this? Here it is. Here's our stuff. Woo! Love it. Thank you. Right, I'm just going to carry it all up there. We're in a mess again. <sighs> Every day. There's stuff everywhere. So there's shopping up there. Yeah. There's shopping here. Here on the batteries. We on top the battery of the oil. Because I'm working on the stuffing box. Yeah. Remus is working there. And we've just defrosted the freezer. Yeah, so that's nearly defrosted. And then I'll give it a clean. <sighs> it's just... <sighs> We're back in the water tomorrow morning, so it'll all be good. Yeah, it's been very busy. Yeah. Yeah, so right, let's keep going here. with this job. I've been playing around with mung beans, and Magnus grows his in a jar, and I've grown mine, or I should say ours, in one of these. And they're, try they're trying to escape out of here. Crazy! Look at this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. Ta da! Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> oh, and they're just solid. They're like absolutely solid in there. That's pretty cool. So we're having those in our. How many dinner. days is that? About five. So Look what do you do? I will. Show you in another video what I did. They are amazing. Yeah, I know. Because I wanted ones that were long. I mean, if you're really being fancy, so, you break those off and just eat that. But honestly, so far you've you've like, you've become a better bread maker than me, <laughs> right? So Wendy's now the chief bread maker. Yeah. I think. Hello, Wendy is now the chief <laughs> <laughs> the chief sprout maker. Might be in the wow. Yeah. Incredible. I might have left them a little bit long because they've gone slightly brown. So no, maybe no, that'd be fine. Half sweet. a day too much. I don't Incredible. Know. What's going on? I finally get to remove one of the sticky notes. Not only serviced, it's brand new electric one. There we go. Job done. <laughs>